garbage. And then when you're done, gals, I'll take your ashes and I'll dump them in my little deer container. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. This video is a haul video. It's the haul video from the shop with me video that was yesterday's video. I will link that video down in the description below so you can go back and you can watch, kind of watch me find some of these things. I was with Jeffrey Real Nifty Vintage on his trip down, we went to the Exit 76 Antique Mall. That's actually in Edinburgh, Indiana. I think I mistakenly said that it was in Columbus, Indiana, but I think it's more in Edinburgh anyway. Do I ever know where I am? Not really, thank God for GPS, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, I did get some really nice things. Some of the things that you saw me, you saw me pick up, some of the things you saw me pick up in the video, and some of them you didn't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you everything right now. One of my very favorite things that I got, and it's something that I am keeping, is my little friend here. Now I absolutely love, 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 love these old bears. I have a little collection of them. Um, I like that they are, well, when they could kind of tell a story. Somewhere along the lines, he's lost an eye, but when they're kind of dented in and you can just tell that they have been loved on and hugged by some child. They have some sort of a story. I just love that about them. This is a little bear. Now, I don't know who made this bear. The tag is no longer attached, but he was normally $24, but he was on sale. Now, I would not have paid $24 for him. I did pay $12 for him though, but... I'm keeping him, so that was an okay price for me to pay, but oh, he's just so soft. He's filled with straw. I love him. So he is mine, and I am keeping him. All right, the other thing that I am keeping, and I, there are three things from this haul that I am keeping, and I'll show you those three things first. The next thing is this little choir boy. He is made in Japan. And now I collect these that have this certain look. They kind of look like they're supposed to be carved out of wood, but they're not. They're like that resin, cardboardy resin. I never remember the, the name of that material. Composite, some sort of composite material. I have his little friend. I think that they might have originally came three in a set. And I have his brother that's in a teal colored cloak. So now I have him in the red. And I love their eyes. They're just singing. So he will go home with me and be put up in my Christmas decorations. And then the last thing that I got is this little plastic, little molded plastic uh, candy container. This is an Easter one. It says Happy Easter there. I collect these. I have them all up on a shelf at Easter time. And so I paid up for this a little bit too, but I'm keeping him. So it's okay to pay retail price on something that you are keeping. So... Those are the three things that I'm keeping and everything else I will be selling in a live sale. Although there is one thing that ha I believe has already been sold and I'll go ahead and show you that. And that is this little pig. Look at the little pig. It's got flowers on its back with rhinestones. My girl Chris sent me an, a message that she spotted this in the video and she wanted to purchase this little fella. He's so cute, or she's so cute. She got blonde hair. It's a little sugar britches pig. Or Chris, because Chris has blonde hair too. But this is a little sugar britches kind of look at sugar britches. But I think that this has already been sold. So this little guy, I just love these. And she has pearls as eyes. She's so cute. She's just a single shaker, which I like to find. Sometimes you can find a mate to a single shaker that like you've unexpectedly found the mate. I have done that. I have a shelf full of singles that I'm just waiting to find the mates for. I'll find them eventually, but I they're over there waiting on their mates. So that was going to get added to the stack, but no, she's found a home. So she's going to go to her new home. I did find another little pig item. This little pig creamer. I don't know who it is made by. It's a little pottery creamer. I want to say it's probably, I think that it's made in Japan. I can just tell by the feel of it. It is not Shawnee. I know Shawnee did make 
some of these figural uh, creamers. Uh, like they, they, I think they made, they might have made some pig ones. I know they made cat ones, but this is a very lightweight pottery. I did pay five dollars for it, but I want to say it was in a sale booth. I just really liked it. I like the flowers that are hand painted on it. Look at its angy face. Now he has one ear up and one ear down. But I got that. I liked it. And then what am I going to grab next? Let's grab this. This was two dollars. This little Florida. It says pick holder. I, I liked it. It's a souvenir of Florida. That old gold font on it. There's no flamingo on it. It's just those marlin fish. And a hand painted. This is hand painted. It is not transferred. It's made in Japan, but it's marked A China on the bottom. Little hand painted souvenir piece. I liked it. It would be great for an air plant in there. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, an air plant. Y'all know that I'm, I'm going to say that before I even say it. Again, I like souvenir pieces. There are people that do collect souvenir pieces from a particular area. So if it's a cool souvenir piece, I like them. So I buy them and I know that I can find a buyer for that as well. Speaking of souvenir pieces, I got these little Florida Gator salt and pepper shakers. They were $1.49. They are redware. It says Florida right there. Now on the back tail, there's a little dobble of paint. So I will get that paint off. It's not a scratch, it's not a chip. It's just like a little piece of mauve paint. Don't know how it got there, but these are in great condition. This one does not have its stopper, but cute little redware alligator uh, salt and pepper shakers for $1.49. So that was a great deal. And do I have any other souvenir pieces? I don't think so, no. But I do have quite a few salt and pepper shakers. So I'll go ahead and show you these now. Um, this was in the tor towards the beginning of the video. This one of my favorite booths. And I think that this, this booth, they have several booths in this antique mall. Um, I love going in there and shopping from this booth. They have a lot of things that just speak to me, the things that I really like. They have a lot of the smalls and a lot of salt and pepper shakers. But I love these little dog salt and pepper shakers. Look at this one's got its party ear up and he's ready to party. They're just a little, oh, they're just so cute. They're made in Japan. They both have their stoppers. But look at their little, they're smiling. They're so cute. I love the party ear on that one. So I got those super cute little salt and pepper shakers. And then I got these. These, I'm gonna try to clean them up a little bit. They're bisque. I do not like the way that bisque feels. It's just a personal thing. I'm very much a textural person. I like to feel certain things and I do not like the way that bisque feels or sounds. Oh, it just gives me goosebumps just thinking about when I just rubbed them together. But these were kind of cool looking. They were $3 for the Donkey Salt and Pepper Shakers. I'm going to take its tag off. Whoop. Whoop. They're made in Japan. I like their crazy eyes. You know, I'm, I'm all about the faces. Aren't they fun? But they're bisque, but they're fun. They're a fun bisque. They do not, well, this one has its shape, its stopper, but honestly, do you do you use these? Do you really need the stopper in them? I, I'm curious. Leave me a comment below if you actually use your vintage salt and pepper shakers, or do you care? Do you care that they don't have their stopper? I, I'm curious, and I really do want to know. So leave a comment down in the video if it's something that if you're like, well, I'm not going to buy it because it doesn't have a stopper. I'm, I'm just curious, but I, I do. I buy them if they don't have a stopper because I see them as a decor piece more than a functional piece. But these little guys, like I said, they were $3. I don't know. I thought they were cute. I like the colors that are on them. And they've got those crazy eyes and I like the crazy eyes, but they're bisque. I need to quit saying that. They're very, they're very nice. Some people really like bisque. It's just a textural thing for me. I just, I don't like the way that bisque feels. It was a Puda day, the day that we went. We found a lot of poodle items. Um, these were $4.99. I don't remember if they were on sale or not. Uh, so, sometimes I solely will go in and I'll only buy from booths that are having a sale just because, you know, I'm a reseller and I need to take that into consideration when I'm when I'm shopping. But, I, so I don't remember. 
I might have just bought these because I like them. Sometimes I do that too, but I love their faces. They're so snooty. Look at them. Um, yeah, we are poodles. Yes, we are poodles and we are so better than you Tuta schnoodas. I loved them. They, well, one of them has a stopper and one of them doesn't. They are made in Japan. They are redware, which is a type of clay. And I love them. They are salt and pepper shakers, but look at their long necks. Ugh, these will be cute in a Valentine's Day display as well. But little snooty puta schnooda redware salt and pepper shakers. They were $4.99. Oh my gosh. This is the kind of stuff that I like. Now, I don't know. I think that if you watch my videos, you kind of know that I like weird things. And maybe you like weird things too. Maybe you don't want to admit it yet. But that you deep down, you really like the weird and odd, like me. I paid, again, five. it says $5.50. I don't know. I can't remember if they were on sale or not. But I'm taking the tag off because, listen... The sooner you take a tag off, the better, because the tag sits on there for a while and it gets a lot harder for it to take off. But I, these are just fun. They're carrot heads. They're carrot. They're little anthropomorphic carrot head salt and pepper shakers. Look at how angry she is. She's so sick of sweeping. She's so sick of it. This gal looks. She's not as angry as her sister, but they're carrot heads. Aren't those fun? I mean, come on. They're fun. They're made in Japan. Again, one has a stopper and one doesn't. I just love them. She's got some brows for days. Look at those eyebrows, but fun. Now you shake their salt out of the back of their head. They kind of look like cone heads. Y'all remember cone heads on Saturday Night Live? They kind of look like cone heads a little bit, but I love them. I think that they're fun and charming carrot head gals. Are you salt and pepper shakers or are you just, you're just a statue. All right, the last set of salt and pepper shakers I got were $5. Now, I do know that these were on sale because I wouldn't have bought these for $5 because they're people. And I kind of like the, the anthropomorphic or animal figural salt and pepper shakers better than the people shakers. But these were really sweet, so that, they had to have been on sale. But they're cute little Dutch Little Dutch boy and Dutch girl. Look at the little flowers in his hands. Oh, he's so sweet. They're both made in Japan. They are a set. And they're super cute. These would look really cute in a spring display on a tiered tray. Oh, so precious. So I want to say that they're probably 25% off of $5. And that's all the salt and pepper shakers that I bought for the day. But I did get some more figurines, of course. This little guy was in the video. And it is made by Chase, hand-painted, made in Japan. I have sold these before. Now, the jury is still kind of out whether this is a deer or a bunny. I'm going to say it's a deer I, because of its, I don't know, its tail is kind of floofy. I, I, the shape of its tail kind of says it's deer to me. But look at the long ears and those lashes. The flower is in excellent condition, and so are the leaves. This is Chase from Made in Japan. Let's hold it the right side up so you can see. I love these little guys. They sell very fast for me. I am assuming that I will sell this little guy before I have a live sale. That's my prediction because they're very popular. So we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. And he'll be, avail he'll be available during a live sale. But those things tend to sell pretty fast for me. I did get this other deer thing. It's so cute. I think I did pay $9 for this, which is paying up for me. But it's this cute little trinket dish. Look at the crazy eyes on that deer. Little deer laying down the paisley-shaped box. It is made, it just says hand-painted in Japan. But I can't make out the maker. It's very, very befuddled and cloudy. But you open up the little lid, and inside there are three, no, two, little ashtrays that are shaped just like the lid with the flowers. So this would be a personal ashtrays, and then this would be where they would you would dump the ashes into. So when you were done with your cigs. Probably at your bridge night or your card night. 
Wouldn't you be, you be fancy, look. Okay, girls, it's time to play bridge. Gonna get out my little ashtrays. Oh, yes, I love it too. There's an ashtray for you, Marge, and an ashtray for you, Doris. And we'll play, we'll play bridge. And then when you're done, gals, I'll take your ashes and I'll dump them in my little deer container. Yeah. I'm a hostess with the mostess with my little deer. I love this. So, I mean, you could use this as an ashtray if you wanted to still, or you could just use it as a little trinket box, or you could just use it as a pretty that sits on your shelf. But I really liked it. I got some birds. Birds. Um, I got a duck and a bird. These were on sale. And I want to say, did I pay duck in grass? I don't remember what I paid for this one because the tag is missing, but it is made in Japan. It's a really colorful pink bird on a tree. What kind of bird are you? I don't know. I don't know my birds. It is marked Japan there on the bottom. I like the coloring on it. I wanna say I paid a couple dollars for that one. This one I paid $3, but I am certain it was 25% off. And it is this mallard duck in the grass. Just a little duck statue. Also made in Japan. It's not marked made. Oh, yeah, it is. I say it's not marked, but it's made in Japan. But it is underneath the wing. So the two ducks. I will sell these separately, though. And then I got these little twins. Oh, these are so cute. They're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just little statues. And they are the little, little Scotties. Aren't they so cute? They're little twins. And I will sell these together because... You know, they, they're brothers. They need to remain together. But I love them. I love the way that they're painted. It kind of looks like it has that furry texture to it. I love me a Scotty dog. Super cute little twins. So I don't remember how much I paid for those. Because it, so for some reason the tags are off of some things, but they're not off of others. I don't quite know why, but these were in the video. I paid $4.50 for both of them. They are the creamed cottage cheese, the wax containers of cottage cheese. I love the graphic on it. I love the colors on it. Um, I will sell these separately. Um, and these look really nice. If you have a Hoosier cabinet or you have a vintage kitchen display, these just look really nice. You can put a little flower in there or an air, not well, I mean, if you have a big air plant, you could put that in there, but I would say like some faux foliage in here as a display. Looks really nice or some flowers. So I did get those and I bought this. Oh, okay. Now this is not that great. Okay. It's just a silver metal index card holder, but it has recipes. It's filled with recipes. Some of them are recipes that were cut out of a magazine and they're just taped to an index card. Like here's one for easy coffee cake and oh, cherry delight. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. And then there are some that are handwritten. This one is Pride of Iowa Cookies. The Pride of Iowa Cookies, Sarah. The Pride of Iowa. Isn't that, wasn't that your nickname in high school, Sarah? The, from Thrift You, the Pride of Iowa, or maybe that's your nickname now. I can't remember. But the Pride of Iowa cookies. Hmm. Well, then we have ham and noodle casserole. It's another handwritten recipe or recipe. Chocolate bonbon cookies. Hmm. Handwritten. Then we have just some that were just taken off of a Cardboard box, sweet and sour meatloaf. That does not look good, but I do like the dish. Isn't that the spice of life? Corel. So it is chock full of recipes. Now I know that y'all love these. I like them too. Sugar cookies, yum. So when you are out and about and you see these recipe boxes, look on the inside because that's kind of where the money is, is on the inside where all the recipe cards are. I can't remember how much I paid for this. But knowing me, not a lot. Um, and then I got a fairy lamp. Now I do believe that this is probably Home Co or Home Interiors. Just a clear fairy lamp. 
Um, it's still very lovely, and I will add it to my fairy lamp rotation. These are nice because they're evergreen. You can have them out for all seasons. Um, Christmas time, these look amazing with colored fairy lights in them. You know, like the little battery operated lights. They look so good at Christmas time. So it did get that. And then the last thing that I got was, other than the teddy bear, was probably my favorite thing. It was $3.50. It's this beautiful antique a lithograph photo. It is a lithograph. It says it is copyright 1901, the Almond Manufacturing Company in Newark. So there is glass over this print. So it isn't like the glass where it's like a reverse glass thing. There, The print is underneath the glass. However, there is a spot down in the corner that is broken off. The glass is broken right here, but I just, I, I didn't care. It, it was $3.50, okay? Look at the beautiful scroll work on each side. I don't know if she's killed this bird. It's an odd picture. I I, I love it though. It's, it's very romantic, kind of, I don't know. Maybe that's the wrong word I'm looking for, but it's it's very Victorian. Look at her pearls, but she's looking down at this bird like, I'm so sorry I killed you. I don't quite know, but her hair is precious. On the back is my favorite part. It says, from Margie May Rose, my niece Rose's girl, 101086. Now, since the, the copyright right here says 1901, I'm going to assume that this was given to somebody through the family way, you know, someone had passed away and it was given to somebody in 1986. And this was my niece Rose's girl for Roseanne. And at the very top, it says, keep, do not sell. Well, somebody sold it at some point in time because now I bought it at this antique mall. But look at the back has this wire here that makes it stay up. So this is turn of the century and it was given to someone, I'm assuming in 1986, they were told not to sell it, but they sold it anyway, or somebody did. But I, I love it. I think that it's beautiful, even though the subject matter is a little, I don't know. What do you think? Is she just hold it? Maybe this bird's her pet. Maybe I'm just going down a morbid stairway and I don't need to do that, but it's just, I don't know. It's a lovely photo of a girl and her bird. So that was all the things that I bought from Exit 76 Antique Mall. Definitely go in there. It's a wonderful place. It, they do have customer appreciation days. You have to get on their website um, or on their Facebook site and look and see when those are, where they do run specials. But a lot of booths did have things 25% off. So there are things, I mean, I bought these things to resell. So you can go in there and buy things to resell. You can buy things that you're finding for yourself. It's, it's a fun, it's a fun day to just go and see all these cool things. So I highly recommend that you go in there, but that's my haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget if you want to watch the shop with me, it is linked down in the description below. If you're interested in purchasing any of these things that I have shown you, other than the things that I said that I'm keeping, you can send me an email at thriftyourjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and we can talk about the details. And if anything, these will all be available in an upcoming live sale. My live sales are every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time here on my YouTube channel. So make sure that you hit the bell notification when you subscribe. So you will be notified every time I go live on my channel. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye and have a great week.